about to go through public speaking is not my forte, so I'll keep it short and sweet. <laughs> my name is Chad, and today I have the pleasure of acting as best man for Brett. I feel flattered and honoured to have been given this position. However, to be called the best man on the day like today isn't right, as today belongs to you. I was a little nervous when Brett asked me to be his best man, but it's been a real pleasure to stand with you today as you made your pledge to Kate. I think you all agree it's been a fantastic day, and I know it will continue into the night. I'm sure everyone will also agree what a stunning bride Kate is. How, how, uh, has made, how beautiful the bridal party look. And even though I've never thought of Brett as a particularly handsome man, they <laughs> <laughs> both look perfect together. It's been amazing to watch your relationship grow over the years and turn into the beautiful family that you have become, along with your two beautiful children that are lucky to have you guys as parents. Now, this is the point I'm supposed to dish out some dirt on Brett. However, <laughs> luckily for Brett, it's been decided that I should probably miss this section as we don't want people falling asleep. And there really isn't much to say, but then it's going to be appropriate to do this <laughs> However, if there are any fruit machines on the premises, can we have those removed? Otherwise, we run the risk that we would lose him to the flashing lights. I wouldn't be seeing him for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Many of Brett's friends will be aware of Brett's love for the good old fruit machine. I would agree he has now finally hit the jackpot with you, Kate. So I'm sure there are so many people the bride and groom would like to thank for the generous and loving way in which they have supported and contributed to making this day special and I'm, and I'm sure memorable. They want you to know how grateful they are to try and mention everyone would be at least very risky, so I won't try. I will simply say thank you all involved. But no matter the size and generosity of thoughts and gifts bestowed upon him today, he already has the greatest gift of man can wish for, the love of a woman. Now I did promise to keep it short and sweet, so can I finally ask you to be all upstanding and raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Oldberg. 